and welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Tonight's contenders will be answering questions on a comedy quartet, a classical conflict, the artist who caused a sensation with his depiction of the human body, and the writer who published her first novel for adults when she was 71. Four subjects for four contenders and just two minutes for each. Then two and a half minutes for the general knowledge round. So two sets of questions, but an awful lot of pressure from that black chair, the spotlight and the ticking clock. So let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. Your name is? Abhi Chatterjee. And your occupation? Risk manager. And your chosen subject? The goons. Ah, the goons who made the nation laugh in the 50s. Two minutes on them, starting now. Under what title was the first series broadcast in 1951 in spite of protests from the performers? Crazy people. Yep. Which famous goon fan said in a telegram that he was green with envy that his father and sister could attend the last goon show of all, but he could not? Prince of Wales. Yes, Prince Charles. In the dreaded batter pudding hurler of Bexhill on Sea, what reason does Eccles give for wearing his only boot on his head? Bus. Who was the leader of the quartet that provided musical entertainment as part of each show? He also occasionally appeared as the Red Bladder. Railington. Yes, a prototype goon show called Sellers Castle was submitted to BBC planners but rejected for broadcast. Who was its producer? Jimmy Grafton. Jack Brown. The goons had a UK top ten hit in 1956 and again in 1973 with which song? Ying Tong in Lipo. Yes, the Ying Tong song. According to an exchange between Harry Seacombe and Spike Milligan during the last goon show of all, how do you start a pudding race? Bus. Who took over as the announcer during the fourth series and was the last voice heard at the end of the final episode, the last of the smoking sea goons? Greenslade. Yes. Who played Maid Marian in Ye Bandit of Sherwood Forest, a rare appearance by a female performer in the show? Bus. Which alcoholic drink mixed with milk was the car's favourite tipple behind the scenes during the musical interludes in the Brand shows? Brandy is correct. What was the name of the eccentric scientist and inventor played by Michael Benteen in the first two series? Idleworker. Osric Purehart. Who co-authored Lurgy Strikes Britain with Spike Milligan and continued to share writing credits during the fifth and sixth series? Jimmy Grafton. Eric Sykes. In The Terrible Revenge of Fred Fu Manchu, Neddy Seagoon travels to a town to track down Minnie Bannister, the owner of the last remaining metal saxophone in England. Which town? Bus. Which character performed by Spike Milligan had the catchphrase, he's falling in the water? Little Jim. Yes. Which ex-army officer and publican was a major influence on the goons in their early days? He provided encouragement and liquid refreshment in his pub. Bus. Well... You're out of time, so I can tell you it is, or it was, Jimmy Grafton. Jimmy Grafton. Yep, you had uh, five passes altogether. Neddy Singoon went to Dewsbury to find the last remaining sax in England. Charlotte Mitchell played Maid Marion. How do you start a pudding race? Say go. In the dreaded batter pudding hurler of Bexelon Sea, Eccles wore his only boot on his head because it fits. Those five passes, Abby, you have scored seven points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. <laughs> and your name is? Um, it's uh, Kathy Bracey. And your occupation? A maturity worker. And your chosen subject? The Trojan War. Famously described, of course, in Homer's Iliad. Here we go, two minutes. The Trojan War was triggered when Helen was abducted by the Trojan prince Paris and taken back to Troy. Helen was the wife of which king of Sparta? Menelaus. Yes, from which port in northern Boeotia did the Greek forces set sail on their expedition to Troy? Aulis. Yes, what was the name of the priest of Troy who protested against bringing the wooden horse within the city walls and was later killed with his two sons by huge sea serpents? Leocon. Yes, who was the father of Hector and the king of Troy throughout its war with the Greeks? He was eventually killed during the sack of the city by Achilles' son Neoptolemus. Priam. Yes, who manufactured Paris's ships for his trip to Sparta to bring Helen back to Troy? According to the Greek poet Homer, he knew how to make many elaborate and skillfully crafted things. Epeus? No, Phereclus. Agamemnon, the leader of the Greek expedition against Troy and the brother of Menelaus, was the king of which city? Um, 
And um, uh, if you could repeat the question, please. Agamemnon, the leader of the Greek expedition against Troy and the brother of Menelaus, was the king of which city? Mycenae. Yes. In the Iliad, what word did Homer use for the citadel at Troy? Pergamos. Yes. Which Trojan hero was rescued by his mother, the goddess Aphrodite, from a murderous assault on him on the battlefield by Diomedes? Achilles. No, Aeneas. Agamemnon reluctantly sacrificed one of his daughters to the goddess Artemis to persuade her to provide fair winds for the expedition to Troy. Which daughter? Iphigenia. Yes. What was the name of Agamemnon's wife who, with her lover, Aegisthus, murdered him on his return from the Trojan War? Clytemnestra. Yes. On their way to Troy, the Greeks abandoned Philoctetes on the Aegean island of Lemnos because of a festering wound to his foot. What had caused the injury? Snake bite. Yes. According to Homer, Achilles claimed to have plundered how many cities during the Trojan War? 23. Yes. Achilles returned to the battlefield when his closest companion was killed by Hector. What was his companion's name? Patroclus. Yes. How many years did the Trojan War last for, according to Homer? It, also, the number of years it took Odysseus to return home to Ithaca after the war. Ten years. Yes. The Trojan ally Cygnus was king of which Anatolian city? Achilles is said to have strangled him with the leather straps of his own helmet. Achilles. Not Colonai. Oh, sorry. No. Uh, no passes, Cathy. You have scored 12 points. Contender, please. And your name is? Sean Climo. Your occupation? Tax advisor. And your chosen subject? The life and works of Egon Schiele. The Austrian expressionist painter who was working in the early 20th century. Two minutes starting now. Which prominent Austrian painter did Schiele meet first in 1907? He became a major influence on his early work. Gustav Klimt. Yes. What flowers were a recurring central theme in his work from 1907 to the end of his life? Sunflowers. Yes. What was the name of the designer collective that he briefly worked for and that published three postcards of his designs in 1910? The Wiener Werkstatter. Yep. When he enrolled at the Academy of Fine Arts, his main teacher took an instant dislike to him. Who was the teacher? Christian Griepenkel. Yes. What was the name of his younger sister who became a regular model for his paintings from an early age? Gertie. Yep. What is the title of Schiele's 1912 painting in which he mocks the church by showing two figures in a similar pose to the couples in Klimt's The Kiss? Colonel and Nunn. Yes. Which former model of Klimt became Sheila's favourite subject and was also his companion and lover between 1911 and 1915? Volley Neusel. Yep. What name is given to the series of six townscapes he painted from 1910 that show a view of houses from above surrounded by a black river and are devoid of life? Dead City. Yes. Sheila was imprisoned in 1912 on charges that related to his new drawings. What did the judge do with one of the offending works in court? He burnt it. He did. With which group of expressionist artists did Sheila exhibit his work in 1912 in the gallery of Hans Golds? The Blower Writer Group. Yes. Sheila was assigned to a prison of war camp in 1916. Which of his major landscapes did he paint at this time near the town of Mühling? Vietnam Castle. The Decaying Mill. In early 1918, which influential group of artists invited him to organise their 49th exhibition? The Secession. Yes, Viennese Secession. What was the title of the German weekly periodical for politics, literature and art that devoted an edition to Schiele in 1916? The Axion. Yep. Which art museum in Vienna houses the world's largest collection of his drawings and paintings? The Albertina. The Leopold. What virulent disease killed Sheila's pregnant wife and Sheila himself three days later? Spanish flu. Yes. Which Christian saint did Sheila depict himself as in his poster for his 1915 exhibition at the Gallery Arnaud? Saint Sebastian. He is correct. No passes, Sean. You have 14 points. <laughs> and our final contender, please. name is? Jeremy Baker. Your occupation? Um, retired radar scientist. And your chosen subject? The novels of Mary Wesley. Who gave us the chamomile lawn in 1984. A lot else besides. In two minutes, starting now, what is the name of Matilda Pollyport's pet goose in Jumping the Queue? 
Gus. Yes. Willie Guthrie, who rescues Poppy Carew from North Africa, is the nephew of a character who first appears in The Chamomile Lawn. Which character? Calypso Grant. Yep. Where does Henry Tillerson's wife, Margaret, pour the expensive scent that he's brought her from London in a dubious legacy? Uh, onto the bed. No, over the dogs. Who appears both in Not That Sort of Girl, where she has an affair with Ned Peel, and later in Second Fiddle, where her daughter Laura is the central character? Emily Thornby. Yes. In A Sensible Life, what title is bestowed upon Mrs Stubbs, who takes charge of the beach picnic organised by the British families in Brittany? The great organiser. The natural leader. In Harnessing Peacocks, Rory Grant, who falls in love with Hebe, sells what? Hats. Yep. What is the name of Willie Guthrie's favourite sow on the pig farm that he runs in The Vacillations of Poppy <sighs> Carew? And the Empress. Mrs Future. Ah. Which of the cousins in the chamomile lawn drowns in the North Atlantic only weeks after Sophie has told him how she accidentally pushed the Coast Guard off the cliff? Walter. Yep. What did Jim Huxtable, the father of Hebe's son Silas, give to Hebe when they met at a fiesta in Italy? He's been searching for her ever since. Uh, a necklace of nuts. Yes. In A Sensible Life, how does Hubert usually refer to the relative from whom he eventually inherits the house Pengapa? Cousin Thing. Yes, in an imaginative experience, the former policeman and private detective, Morris Benson, is said to have turned something which had previously been a hobby into a way of life. What is it? Um, bird watching. Yes. In A Dubious Legacy, Susie, the oldest daughter of Matthew and Antonia, has a nickname that derives from an international conflict that took place at the time she was born. What is the nickname? Pass. What name do the cousins in the Chamomile Lawn give to their annual race down the cliff path at the time of the full moon? The Terror Run. Yes. When Robert Copplestone goes to London to go through his son Evelyn's things in part of the furniture, he wonders whether the wallpaper in the bombed house opposite was designed by whom? Uh... <sighs> no. Uh, is that... Uh, arts and Crafts. Uh... Uh, no, well, I'll have to... Give it to you, I'm afraid. Uh, William Morris. William Morris, that's what yeah. I was trying to think. No, I know, I know. Sorry. Yeah, no, come the country. Blame the black chair. Um, you uh, had one other pass, Jeremy. The nickname that Susie had was Suez. Occasionally, sewage. Lots of strange stuff in those books. Uh, you have scored nine points. Now it is time to invite all our contenders back into the studio together. <laughs> On to the general knowledge round now, and if there's a tie at the end of it, and it's two and a half minutes, by the way, then if there is a tie, the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, there has to be a tie break. And remember, the contenders don't know at this stage what each other have scored. They weren't in the studio. So for everyone at home, let's have a look at all the scores. As always, we start with the contender with the lower score. So let's ask our first contender to return to the black chair, and that is Abby. And uh, we can now reveal to the others that uh, you scored seven points in your first round. You have two and a half minutes, as I say, on general knowledge, starting now. Which future mistress of Charles II sold oranges at the King's Theatre in Drury Lane in 1663 before she made her transition to the stage about a year later? Boss. Which fascist dictator starred himself Il Duce, meaning the leader? Um, what's the yes. The biblical giant Goliath belonged to what group of people? Mm, Bus. What breed of dog developed in Germany is commonly believed to get its English name from the way it uses its front paws when it's playing and fighting? Rottweiler. A boxer. Who created the detective Vera Stanhope, who appears for the eighth time in the novel The Seagull? Bus. What synthetic fibre, said to be five times stronger per weight than steel, is widely used in body armour? It was invented by the chemist Stephanie Kolek. Kevlar? Yes. October Revolution Island, that lies in the Arctic Ocean, belongs to which country? Russia. Yes. What fruit that was first brought back to Europe by Christopher Columbus became a symbol for hospitality and welcome? Potatoes? Pineapple. In what film did Harrison Ford first play the archaeologist and adventurer Indiana Jones? Uh, Readers of the Lost Ark. Yes. Who published the first of his pictorial narratives of contemporary life in 1732, a set of six engravings called A Harlot's Progress? Bath. 
In which city was the Congress held that established the territorial divisions of Europe after the Napoleonic Wars? It lasted from September 1814 to June 1815. Uh, Vienna. What word that comes from the Greek for to hide away is used to describe a fact of doubtful authenticity that is widely accepted as true? Mm. Pass. In tennis, who is known as the King of Clay, partly because of his outstanding record in the French Open Championships? Nadal. Yes. What animals, not known for their speed, are depicted by a version of Offenbach's Can Can, played extremely slowly in Sanson's Carnival of the Animals? Pass. Which Yemeni port on the Red Sea was once the centre for the export of the fine, slightly bitter coffee that's named after it? Mm. Arabica. Mocha. Who became the first artist in the UK's official singles chart history to have had two songs at number one for nine or more weeks, with One Dance in 2016 and God's Plan in 2018? Ed Sheeran? Drake. ICANN, the winner of the 2017 Nobel Peace Prize, is the international campaign to abolish what? Landmines. Nuclear weapons. Okay. Yeah. You've had six passes, Abby. The uh, tortoises were the animals, very slow animals. That uh, word that comes of the Greek for the hideaway, apocryphal. William Hogarth was the artist of those um, six engravings, a harlot's progress. Anne Cleves created Vera Stanhope. Goliath was a philistine and the future mistress of Charles II was Nell Gwynne. You have now a total abbey of 12 points. <laughs> and Jeremy again now, please. And uh, you start out with nine points, Jeremy. Let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Two and a half minutes. Here we go. What French name is given to a fruit-flavoured water ice served as a dessert or to refresh the palate between courses? Sorbet. Yep. In Irish legend, what landmark supposed to have been built by the warrior Finn McCool to enable him to reach Scotland? Giant's Causeway. Yes. Which oil traditionally used to treat cricket bats and to harden putty is made from a common variety of the flax plant? It is less well known as flaxseed oil. Linseed oil. Yes. What is the name of the nurse with whom Dr Zhivago falls in love in Boris Pasternak's novel? She's based on Pasternak's lover, Olga Iminskaya, and is played on film by Julie Christie. Lara. Yes. What is the common English name of the genus of plants to which the aromatic herb Penny Royal belongs? Mint. Mint. Yes. A style of black Homburg hat, fashionable in the 1930s, was named after which future British Prime Minister? Uh... Derby. Eden. The French designer René Lalique, who began his career as a jeweller, is best remembered for his Art Nouveau items and architectural decoration made from what material? Glass. Yes. Which planet has a year equal to 225 Earth days and is, on average, 67 million miles from the Sun? Uh, Jupiter. Venus. In which French city has an international film festival been held almost every year since 1946? Can. Yep. In which river valley is the Shropshire village of Coalport, once famous for the manufacture of porcelain? Uh, pass. What was the unit of currency in the Netherlands before the introduction of the euro? Gilda. Yes. What Latin phrase that means let the buyer beware implies it is the purchaser who must take the risk for the quality of bought goods? Caveat emptor. Yes. Paul and Linda McCartney composed the theme music to which 1973 James Bond film? Live and let die. Yes. Since 1984, women from South Korea have dominated the medals tables at the Olympic Games in a sport that has its origin in ancient warfare and hunting. What sport? Uh, table tennis. Archery. <laughs> Which North African country has an Arabic name that translates as the Western Kingdom? Um, Tripoli. Morocco. What poem in Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's 1841 literary collection, Ballads and Other Poems, is based on tragic events along the northeast coast of the United States two years earlier? Uh, pass. In what television series set in New Jersey and first shown in 1999 does James Gandolfini play the boss of a mafia family? Uh, Sopranos. Yes. Which Christian name was originally a familiar form of the Russian names Alexander or Alexandra? Sasha? Yes. You had two passes, Jeremy. The poem that uh, Longfellow wrote after a tragic event on the northeast coast was called The Wreck of the Hesperus. Right. Yeah. Right. And Coalport is in the Severn Valley. Oh. There you go. Yes. Two passes, Jeremy. You have now 21 points. Thank you. <laughs> and
And next in the chair is Cathy. And you, Cathy, start the round with 12 points. The score to beat at this stage is 21, as we have just heard. So here we go. Who led the revolution in Cuba that overthrew the government on the 1st of January 1959? Fidel Castro. Yep. What number is said to be the answer to the ultimate question to life, the universe and everything in The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? 42. Yes. Udon, made from wheat flour, and soba, made from buckwheat flour, are types of noodle that are a staple of the cuisine of which Asian country? China. Japan. Who won a Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her role as the psychic Oda Mae Brown in the 1990 film Ghost? Um, um, Ruby Goldberg. Yes. Who was chosen by Lot to become one of the Twelve Apostles after the death of Judas Iscariot, the betrayer of Christ? Matthew? No, Matthias. Which country's largest state, Chihuahua, gives its name to the smallest recognised breed of dog? Mexico. Yes. What organisation, originally founded in 1946, is responsible for investing money from the government and the National Lottery to support art and culture across England? Uh, pass. What does the A stand for in the initials of the right-wing German political party, the AFD? Alternative. Which British theoretical physicist who died in March 2018 gave his name to the radiation he proposed should be emitted by a black hole? Stephen Hawking? Yes. The bonobo, found only in a region of forest in the Democratic Republic of Congo, is a pygmy form of what ape? Um... Orangutan? Chimpanzee. What Mediterranean island country was defended by three old biplanes known as Faith, Hope and Charity during the Second World War? Pass. What piece of recreational and sporting apparatus did the American gymnast George Nissen invent in 1936 after he was inspired by visits to the circus? It first became an Olympic event in 2000. Parallel rings? Trampoline. Who composed the music for the songs written by Sir Tim Rice for the film The Lion King and the musical that was subsequently based on it? Elton John. Yes. Which 1980s television series set in a Japanese internment camp took its title from the Japanese for Roll Call? Tenko. Yes. What name is used in Britain for the pins that are the target in an indoor pub game that is a variety of bowling? Uh, Skittles. Yes. Brontophobia is an abnormal fear of what meteorological phenomenon? Rain. Thunder. Which humorous English writer was nicknamed Plum, a childhood mispronunciation of his first name, Pelham? Uh, pass. The skin of which fish was once used commercially as sandpaper? Um, pass. I'll tell you because you've uh, out of time anyway. Shark is the shark. answer to that. Yeah. Plum was actually P.G. Woodhouse. Mm. Uh, Malta was defended by Faith, Hope and Charity. And that body that dishes out all the money is the Arts Council. Four passes, Cathy, you have scored 20 points. <laughs> and finally, into the chair again, Sean, please. And uh, you start out, Sean, with 14 points. And the score to beat is... 21 still? Here we go. The mysterious Lady of the Lake appears in the stories of which legendary king? Arthur. Yep. Gary Oldman was named Best Actor at the 2018 Oscars for his portrayal of Winston Churchill in which film? Darkest Hour. Yep. Who is the subject of an eight-metre-high statue by the American sculptor J. Seward Johnson? It shows her with her skirt blown upwards as she stands over a subway cover. Marilyn Monroe. Yes. The Colombo, Maxwell Bond and Doors Gaps are all parts of what feature of the solar system? Asteroid belt. The rings of Saturn. What industry is commemorated in the National Museum at Overton near Wakefield in West Yorkshire? An exhibition in 2017 marked the 70th anniversary of its nationalisation. Steel. Steel. No, coal. Which British boxer unified the three major world heavyweight titles when he beat Evander Holyfield in Las Vegas in November 1999? Audley Harrison. Lennox Lewis. What tree-dwelling Australian marsupial has fingerprints so similar to the human fingerprint that it's almost impossible to tell them apart? Koala. Yep. Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth and good fortune, is the wife of one of the principal Hindu deities. Which one? Shiva. Vishnu. In what year did Margaret Thatcher become Britain's first woman prime minister? 1979. Yes. The narrator of To Kill a Mockingbird, Jean-Louise Finch, is known by what nickname? Scout. Yes. Which Roman poet born near Mantua in 70 BC wrote the Georgics as a plea for the restoration of the old agricultural life of rural Italy? 
Seneca? Virgil. What street in Manhattan is named after an earthwork built by Dutch settlers in the 17th century to repel potential invaders? Wall Street. Yes. Which Welsh city has hosted a biennial Singer of the World contest with the BBC since 1983? Swansea. Cardiff. Which band formed in Hull had their only UK number one single with A Little Time in 1990? Beautiful South. Yes. What French word that means loosening was used to describe the easing of Cold War tensions between America and the Soviet Union? Deton. Yes. What herb, sometimes called wild marjoram, has a name derived from the Greek for mountain and joy and is used to flavour many Italian dishes? Oregano. Yes. What nickname that supposedly comes from a female member of the steel-making family firm of Krupp was given to the howitzers that shelled Belgian towns in the First World War? Big Bertha. Yes. Who plays Lucy Lee Max, former landlady and later wife, in the television comedy series Not Going Out? Pass. The insignia of which high order of chivalry is worn on the blue ribbon? Garter. Yes. What is the name of the prison in West London that was built by convicts in Victorian times on the edge of a large open space formerly used as a notable duelling ground? Wormwood Scrubs. Is correct. Uh, one pass. Sally Breton plays Lucy. And you have, Sean, 27 points. So, therefore, you are the winner. <laughs> well, a clear victory there. Let's have a look at all the scores. In fourth place, 12 points, Abby. Third place, 20 points, Cathy. Second place, 21 points, Jeremy. First place, 27 points, Sean. And he goes through to the semi finals. <laughs> If you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.